are the artists born? Yes, the artists are born, but they are not born when they come out of the womb of their mother. They are born after the pain they get. Remember that. After a big change in their life, then they are born. I had seven crores in my account when I leave showbiz. And there was a time when I could not even, you know, get 500 out of my ATM because I had like 350 rupees in there. Validain ki narazgi, Allah ki narazgi nahi hai. Allah ki narazgi jis cheez mein hai, wo Allah ne Quran aur Hadith mein har cheez bayan kar di hai. Allah ki narazgi hai sood mein. Allah ki narazgi hai dhoka dene mein. Allah ki narazgi hai zana karne mein. Allah ki narazgi bhoot sari aur cheezo mein. You guys are emotionally blackmailed by your parents. Mere abba abba de sunliya de baya. Mere to shabat hai, but I really need to tell you that. You are being blackmailed, emotionally blackmailed by your parents. तुम्हारे वालदेन को जब तुमने नई सिविक भिजवा दी ना पाकिस्तान में वो तुम्हें फोन करेंगे हाय मेरी बेटी मेरी जान देखो यू हैव टू टेक अ एंड यू नो अनदर थिंग दैट आई गॉट टू नो व्हेन आई ज्वाइन के जी पिक्चर्स खींचना अलाउ है कैमरे की पिक्चर अलाउ है हाथ से बनी पिक्चर अलाउ नहीं आई मीन हु डिसाइड्स दैट एनीवे वी शुड नॉट बी एक्सट्रीमिस्ट वी शुड लेट पीपल ब्रीथ वी शुड यू नो make things easy especially for the girls especially for the artists here artists banne ke liye another thing that people adopt is <sighs> if a girl wants to be an artist she will dress up like boys and she will talk like boys she will get her hair cut and apne aap ko different karegi and a boy if he wants to be an artist makeup artist or an art he will have something ladies like that in him not necessary it is not like rembrandt didn't have anything like that why do you have to change yourself be yourself but be yourself the way allah has made you i have seen people in very western clothing in a very i mean not doing anything haram but in a western clothing they have better connection to allah than still i do have so never judge people with what they look like judge by their actions how they and actions not like that they're praying for i mean alhamdulillah i'm a tahajjud guzar i have never left any prayer for five past four years since i have turned here but again it is not allah is not going to judge me through my ibadat allah will judge me my conduct to people i pick good thing from everybody even from salma the khusra that comes to my house to you know she has so many things to tell but i learned from her too she said one thing very nicely she had a boyfriend the khusra had a boyfriend she said i'll speak i'll tell you what she told me in punjabi and english because i'm not that good in punjabi she said if you cannot change the person her boyfriend used to abuse her him or her whatever but she's a real khusra so i respect her and i i help her she said if you cannot change the person change the person <laughs> and i was like seriously such an intelligent thing from her i was a princess i was a princess who who had lot of money lot of love lot of fame everything but when bad time come when the bad time came in my life i saw everybody disappeared around me and it was all me and when the time started changing they all were like coming back oh my god oh my darling my dan my rabi but that time had taught me the lesson and i really want to be a shortcut in your lives Le- learn from my life i have seen the real i have done that you know bungee jumping i have done that bungee jumping but i have actually done bungee jumping in my real life as well bismillah rahman rahim rabb shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli today i am um, supposed to speak about artist because you know i had a very glamorous life i was i was not an artist at that time i was a star first of all we should know the difference between being an artist and being a star I was there. Annie Khalid, you remember? She was another pop singer. We both, I consider, we both were like stars there. We were not the the artists, or we were not that concerned about our music or rag or something. We just wanted to make content for ourselves that we can, you know, uh, we can have good things for the audience. They can dance. They can have good fun, and that's it. I actually didn't know what the artist was because I was like 15 years old when I became a star. So, I. but you know i always used to wonder when i used to go for the concert i always used to wonder see my opening singer she or he is taking only 10000 20000 when they are paying me 5 to 8 lakh rupees and she or he is more talented than me 
I always used to ask that question for myself. Why? And, you know, when they used to come behind the stage and most of these stars, they didn't treat them well. They used to just look at them because, you know, they, they knew inside their hearts that that person is better. But I always used to stand. I always used to greet them properly. I always used to say good things about them. And I, I told them that you are a better singer. You, you know the rags and you know the singing. You have better skills than me. So first of all, and then there, there are two things. Today, our topic is basically nature and nurture. There are two things. Um, I have two careers in my life. One was singer, a celebrity. One is an artist, a philanthropist, a social worker. So I'll discuss both things with you for the first time. Because I usually, I do, uh, you know, speeches, motivational speeches, but I don't talk about my own life but today I'm supposed to um, when I was a singer all I cared was about was money fame most, most people should know me when I used to go out and you know people you say hey, she's Ravi Pizza they're going there I, I love that and uh, I think everybody does but I was not concerned that they like my art or not an artist is born by Allah, the qualities are given by Allah. But again, if somebody is not a born artist, that doesn't mean he should be very, you know, he should, my word should break his heart and he's not able to perform. It's not like that. We can always cover those things, nature and nurture again. One thing is missing, you are not going to lead yourself anywhere. So, first of all, who are born artists? You know, if you have heard my songs, but if you have heard my Naat and Hum, you will see my Naat and Hum are more professionally sung. They are more accurate than my songs over there. Do it. Do listen. Both things are available on, on YouTube. You know why? Because I believe, that is my firm belief, that to be a true artist, you have to face the pain. Somebody faces pain like Alama Iqbal's son died when he was in 20s. Ghalib has a very tragic life. Every big artist has tragedies in their life. And I always, you know, when I used to, I was a, when I was a singer, I used to play keyboard, drums, uh, guitars, every instrument I could play. And I sang, well, maybe, to, uh, you know, my scale was, my pitch was very high from very low. It is very rare. But again, my teacher used to say, he died, he used to say, Rabi, tere indar dard nahi hai ga. Tere waaz dard nahi hai ga. I didn't understand that dard, what dard he was talking about. I was like, Ustad ji, meinu vikho, inne paise mil dene, concert karande, meri zindagi badi changi hai, te tussi meinu ehho jiye gala na fikriya karo. I didn't like him saying dard, what is dard? But then, I, when I went to, through the pain, I actually got what was, that is very true. We never believe that unless we face, you know, unless you don't jump into the water, into the sea water, you don't know what the waves feel like, how much fear you'll get, you don't know anything. When I felt the pain very close to my heart, in my mind, and I was totally, I was gone, then I realized, no, no, okay, that is the pain. And the first thing which I sang after that was, Alama Iqbal ki kaun si nani mani gazal gaya? Har lehzai moment. When I, you know, when I came back, from that spell and I went, I breath again. When I was on the then I realized I have to sing. I, but I have to sing something that, that actually explains me to Allah. Then I sang Har Lahza Hai Moomin. I recited that and you will see Har Lahza Hai Moomin and Mujhe Ishq Hai are two. You will feel that two different people had sung both the things. And now comes art. I had been, you know, doing my art things since I was a kid. I have seen so many big, you know, painters, artists, when they were kids, they painted like normal kids. Their painting was really bad, but I was not like that. When I was very young, for the first time, I, I must be like seven, six years old, I got a ballpoint of my father, he threw one. You remember that? The yellow one, I think you're very young, you don't remember. The yellow one with the blue, and you used to chew and the ink used to come all over your, that I actually like to chew the ball pens. When my father retires a ball pen, I started lecturing it. 
so i got hold of it and you know first time i made my father's picture while he was talking to my mom and they were fighting though and when they were done fighting and my father like what what are you making why are you you know spoiling my uh, writing pad and my pen i said i'm making you a portrait he saw that but you know my parents um first of all they were very against nc i don't know why i said you guys from nc you can tell me but they were scared of the environment there they said because maybe you guys are allowed to you know portray yourself any way you want maybe it's the independence they were scared i don't know but most of the parents they are scared of nca uh, i think i visited there once uh, when i well i think with alisa for something i don't remember and i saw that people have very different getups there and i really wonder how do they walk out of nc in that getup do they or they change before they walk out they are just like that okay <laughs> okay so um but i was like really i wish i could go to nc it was a dream but my parents wanted me to become a doctor i top board i did like i was third position in pre medical then i got first position when i gave that medical test but i didn't want to become a doctor because i was so scared of blood and flesh but again my parents didn't realize that she is an artist he is a born artist they didn't realize that later they made me a software engineer and i again i was with good intelligence so i served in netsol one of the biggest software houses in pakistan alhamdulillah and i was a junior software engineer there at the age of probably 16 17 so i had a very bright career then came singing and i was like i forgot i was i'm good in you know my drawing and my painting and everything now the today are the artists born yes the artists are born but they are not born when they come out of the womb of their mother they are born after the pain they get remember that after a big change in their life then they are born born artists you know they have to have creativity unique perspective that's it you know if you have to excel in today's era it's not you have to do something good or something bad you have to do something different that's it remember that you guys are becoming architects you're not making homes you know you're making memories homes are memories whenever i feel like acha jab main 7 saal ki thi to hum us ghar mein rehte the i don't count how many rooms were there and was that built good or bad or whatever i remember my memories was there us darwaze se main giri thi un seediyon se main upar jati thi you guys are making memories you guys are not making houses so first is born artist something gender by the way in my family my both parents they cannot sing they cannot paint <laughs> and of course urdu sabki achhi hai i had a pathetic writing but i always say that the you know my writing quran skills are a gift from allah allah never leaves you alone when you face so much pain allah has something you know okay okay you are going through this this is your reward but you know you have to be able to get that reward you have to make yourself to that level that you are capable of that reward allah judges you allah looks at you you know so many people from media from showbiz they come to um, religion side and then they go back they say, no 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 this is not my type you know i am i am leaving everything i'm you know having the baton on my face and i'm not you know wearing you know tight jeans or shirts so i'm giving up everything i will not get that money i will not get get fame i will not be traveling in first class and telling you my fears i will not be you know staying in five to eight star hotels across the world i'm leaving everything i'm like and then if somebody says um oh, she is not that true then you know that that money that fame that you know power is good bye bye get back there we should not dishearten anybody never and that is the main reason we will go back to showbiz i never considered it because i never left it for people of what they are going to say i don't care what people say balki you know uh, for most of my quran writings my calligraphy is because i usually i use that stand and that very close so people can see what i'm writing to people say that it's not she who is writing i uh, now they do believe but in, initially they used to say somebody else is painting somebody else is writing i didn't care because i know myself and um, and i know that my allah is is so full of rehmat and barkat for all of us that 
he cannot leave me alone he cannot say ki i have left i i had 7 crores in my account when i leave showbiz and there was a time when i could not even you know get 500 out of my atm because i had like 350 rupees in there i have seen the real i have done that uh, you know bungee jumping i have done that bungee jumping but i have actually done bungee jumping in my real life as well and it saved me allah saved me so another thing born artist and the second thing is environment as you, as i told you that you know in kashmir my parents were really orthodox they were not very fond of i remember my sister we were not which my sister is a bit older to me we have a good age difference but she was in college and one day she wore red nail polish and i came from school and my father was having a kapda kaatne wali kenchi and mai tumhari ungliyan kaat dunga i said what happened i said she is wearing red nail polish so i was from that background and maybe i was a bit rebellious too because of that thing environment you know cultural stimulation if you have like abid ali dada sahab his brother is an architect when you live in an environment that this is happening it gets easier for you and i lived in an environment where it was only studies and i was good i was damn good in my studies and religion that's it there was no life for girls we were hardly allowed to even you know ride bicycles out you know outside our home maybe that was the rebellion ravi pizada bought there but again the cultural then art supplies if your parents say tasveere banana to guna hai jaan bharni padegi oh bhai allah aapko koi aisa kaam kyun dega jo aap nahi kar sakte ho koi iske alawa koi hukm nahi hai ki allah ne kaha ho ki bhai jaan bharni padegi yes you are not you know making art to worship it it's okay and you know another thing that i got to know when i uh, joined ki ji pictures khinchna allow hai camera ki picture allow hai haath se bani hui picture allow nahi hai i mean who decides that <laughs> but anyway we should not be extremist we should let people breathe we should you know make things easy especially for the girls especially for the artists here another thing in pakistan i'm sorry to say that but what i i mean i'm very vocal i don't hide i don't fear anybody but allah artist banne ke liye another thing that people adopt is <sighs> if a girl wants to be an artist she will dress up like boys and she will talk like boys she will get her hair cut and apne aap ko different karegi and a boy if he wants to be an artist makeup artist or an art he will have something ladies like that in him not necessary it is not like rembrandt didn't have anything like that why do you have to change yourself be yourself but be yourself the way allah has made you if allah has made you a good looking man then be a man i am the person who was who faced the most backlash and i am a person when i went to skardu with my father i found women they were kissing my hand they were kissing my head they were kissing my dupatta they were bringing their daughters to me please make them like you i have seen the two extremes in my life and the only thing which i never left was my allah is with me and how do you get allah with you how do you get allah with you i mean there are billions people when i was in the media there is a guy acha i i believed he was a wrong number i didn't believe that he is the real alim or something i went there i was i was wearing jeans and t-shirt i remember baba yahya and i didn't believe these babas at that time and he gave me a chadar he said if you want to interview me don't wear jeans and t-shirt i hated him more why is he making me he is like but anyway i wore chadar because i was being paid for the interview i was getting a very good salary from my channel you know i just asked him one i said everybody wants allah's love everybody wants him. like who is going to get it who decides it was night time he said see the moon is out there it was the one intelligent thing i remember from like when i was in the showbiz when i didn't know this ravi pizada he said the moonlight is coming down for everybody it's you who goes out and get the light for yourself how much light you want who wants it allah is there for all of you allah is inside us even shaitan is inside us shaitan bhi utna hi nafs mein jitna allah hamare andar hai it's us to choose allah or shaitan and again looking at somebody you have it you have heard it so many times don't judge the book by its cover i do not believe it somebody is wearing dupatta or wearing hijab is more pious than a person who is wearing a jeans i do not believe on this the connection i have seen seriously honestly i am telling you that 
it's very good to be like her it's very good to be like you but again i do not believe i have seen people in very western clothing in a very i mean not doing anything haram but in a western clothing they have better connection to allah than still i do have so never judge people with what they look like judge by their actions how the and actions not like that they're praying for i mean alhamdulillah i'm a tahajjud guzar i have never left any prayer for five past four years since i have turned here but again it is not allah is not going to judge me through my ibadat allah will judge me my conduct to people and conduct is not i alhamdulillah allah makes me help thousands of people but even a smile i give to my servant or a maid by going there maybe it's bigger than a lot of charity that i do so don't make it big and now the last thing is me self taught artist we have already discussed nature and nurture we have already discussed what is born artist now self taught artist what is self taught artist i am the example i somebody told me he's he's like my brother adnan bhai i told him i said adnan bhai mujhe painting to aati hai lekin yaar mujhe na kuch programs bana ke de acha he had some sites and he was a they are very expensive programs he downloaded them by hacking them he's there please see him okay and then i just opened those files and i was like going through okay drawing is like that i didn't i found it boring i i found that my thing is better never ignore yourself you are the best teacher for yourself no teacher nothing can and you know nobody uh, you were seeing um, kasim ali shah saab i pick everything good from everybody no matter what people says he told me very good thing i said kasim bhai main itne arse se deen ki taraf aayi hu na mujhe na koi perfect teacher nahi mila so he said it's not in your power to get a perfect teacher you cannot find a perfect teacher then when i do kasim bhai main kya karungi be the perfect student he said you cannot change the other person you can change yourself you can change your learning thing i pick good thing from everybody even from salma the khusra that comes to my house to you know she has so many things to tell but i learned from her too she said one thing very nicely she had a boyfriend the khusra had a boyfriend she said i'll speak i'll tell you what she told me in punjabi in english because i'm not that good in punjabi she said if you cannot change the person her boyfriend used to abuse her him or her whatever but she is a real khusra so i respect her and i i help her she said if you cannot change the person change the person <laughs> and i was like seriously such an intelligent thing from her i expected so many things you know i was a princess i was a princess who who had lot of money lot of love lot of fame everything but when bad time come when the bad time came in my life i saw everybody disappeared around me and it was all me and when the time started changing they all were like coming back oh my god oh my darling my dan my rabi but that time has taught me the lesson i i really want to be a shortcut in your life L- learn from my life two things you have to learn hard work consistency set a goal and just work towards it set a goal and second thing never get disappointed allah is with you nobody is born with a silver gold spoon alhamdulillah i am from a good family background alhamdulillah and then when i was in the showbiz i was i was the youngest producer i used to make plays you know the serials i used to make i'm giving one example i used to make them in 80 lakh and i used to sell them for 3 to 4 crores and i was like 23 22 years old and then i invested that money i made myself i'm a self made girl i cannot say my my family did something to me i and then when i started this ravi pizza the foundation i just like to help people i didn't have money i remember i have a good skin i thought yes what do i apply on my skin okay those oils okay i made this oil okay tint okay i made that thing and that thing started selling alhamdulillah now we are getting so many after getting giving so many women their risk e halal their food their money I think last thing we save eighty seven thousand rupees for myself. So, I mean, just focus yourself, be yourself, love yourself. Do not love other person because the way he looks. Find the talent in yourself. Sometimes I'm, you know, 
Okay, I tell you something. I'm such a confused person. I am a karate gold medalist. I'm a bronze medalist in swimming. I'm gold medalist in my FSC. Uh, no, I had third position in FSC and first position in metric. Then I was software engineer. Then I am a calligrapher. I am a painter. I am a sketcher. I write poetry. I am a singer. I do so many things. You know why? Because I don't ignore myself. I know that there and maybe there are so many more things I have to discover myself. And the least I'm bothered about is my looks. I don't care how I look. I I try to look good because you know since I, when I came to I saw a couple of examples like my sister Sara Chaudhary. She left showbiz. But when I saw her, she was, I, I found her more pretty in showbiz. So I was like a bit heartbroken. I said, maybe Islam takes you away from those things. But then I promised myself, if I'll, you know, go on the way of Islam, I will not look ugly or I will not look bad. Or I will not look simple. I will look as good as I used to. So that is all about, I hope that you learned a couple of things from me. Value yourself all of you no matter if somebody's fat or slim black or white that doesn't allah has plans for you if you you might know some drawing or painting the best paintings you make are of the faces they are not pretty they are not beautiful they, the best paintings we make out of them um my best painting which Nayar Ali Dada loved was uh, an old man with a lot of wrinkles and he was not at all good looking so the looks does not count the inner souls counts I have seen so many husbands especially they look so ugly to their wives and they're so good looking after like a couple of years because they don't take care of her so looks doesn't matter so guys make memories make good houses and Abid Ali Dada Sahab is such a fine person he's such a happy person that, you know, looking at him, I see inko to zindagi mein koi hai. Maybe he has more tension problems than us. But, you know, all his traits is love. It's relaxing. Abhi, unho ne vese kaur nahi kiya. Ke, mein ne aate hi na, unka yaha par ek ko pada wa tha. Ek uh, bil pada wa tha. <laughs> Unke saare iska. Look, he's here, mashallah. Meri nani kehti hai, jiska zikr karo, wo aa jaye, to uski umar badi lambi hoti hai. <laughs> so guys i hope if you have any questions please ask me i'll be happy to answer them Seriously. I can relate. So, I have a show that I have to do a master's degree. And I have to do a master's degree. 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 हम लोग बड़ा पता है हम एक बड़ा डायलॉग मारते हैं मुझे पैसा अच्छा नहीं लगता मुझे पैसे की जरूरत नहीं है दिस इज ऑल लाई अच्छा मैं भी जब शोबेज में होती थी ना मैं भी ये डायलॉग मारती थी पैसा मेरे पैसे क्या जब मेरे पास पैसे खत्म हुए मैं क्या ओह है क्यों यार <laughs> ये तो बड़ी जरूरी चीज थी सो so, सबसे पहले हर लड़की को अब तो मैं ये कहती हूं कि जो शादियों का हशर कर दिया ना बंदों ने सॉरी गाइस बट नॉट ऑल मेन लड़कियां भी खराब होती हैं बट मोस्टली मेन बिकॉज़ मैं सोशल वर्क करती हूं मेरा ख्याल है कि एक लड़की को अपनी जिंदगी के फ्यूचर में शादी नहीं अपना करियर और अपना एक रिस्क हलाल सोचना चाहिए सेव योर मनी फॉर योरसेल्फ तुम्हारे पास आज 5 करोड़ रुपए पड़े हों तुमने अपना वीजा लगवाना है बहन अपने मम्मी अबू की तरफ देखना भी नहीं और तुमने चले जाना सो ऑल यू लैक इज फाइनेंशियल थिंग्स तो गेट योरसेल्फ फाइनेंशियली सेटल्ड और एक चीज अपनी जिंदगी में मान लो अल्लाह को नाराज नहीं करना बस बाकी दुनिया में हर काम करो खुश रहो अभी मैं जब श्रीलंका गई हुई थी तो मैं स्विमिंग करते करते हालांकि मैं पता है स्विमिंग कर रही थी पूरे हिजाब के अंदर मैं वो आधे समंदर में निकल गई और वो उधर से पीछे ना उनके लाइफ गार्ड्स आ गए उन्होंने कहा कुड़ी गई मैं क्या भाई मैं स्विमर हूं मेरी ट्रेन स्विमर हूं मैं आगे भी जा सकती हूं 
लेकिन देवर सिंह नो नो एक्चुअली यू वर स्विमिंग इन फुल क्लोथ्स देवर लाइक शॉक कि मैंने दुपट्टा तक लिया हुआ था मैंने कहा बिकॉज आई डोंट वांट टू द यू नो अल्लाह हैज टेकन मी टू दिस सी एंड ही इज रिस्पांसिबल इफ आई एम मेकिंग हिम एंग्री आई हैव नो गारंटी इफ ही इज गुड ही विल ब्रिंग यू बैक तो पैसे जमा कर लड़की अपने आप को फाइनेंशियली स्टेबल कर और शादी आजकल के दौर में नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं मैंने शादियों की बड़ी हॉरर uh, स्टोरीज देखती हूँ डेली देखती हूँ ये मेरे शहर हैं ये नान हैं हम ऑफिस में आते हैं बड़ी सैड स्टोरीज हैं ये नहीं कि लड़के ही जुल्म करते हैं अच्छा ये ये भी एक क्लास है जो बंदा बुरा है बंदा बुरा है और जहाँ पे बंदी बुरी है वो भी बहुत बुरी है बट यूजली जो बंदियाँ बुरी होती हैं लड़के तो निकल जाते हैं लेकिन बंदा बुरा होता है ना लड़की कैप्चर्ड होती है वो निकल नहीं सकती है तो वो उसका शिकार बन जाती है शादी इज़ नॉट दैट ऑप्शन पैसे जमा करो तनख्वाह शनखा को बोनस वोनस दे दें बेचारी को बढ़ा दें इसके पैसे <laughs> उन्हें मुल्क को बाहर जाना है और कोई क्वेश्चन जी आप ये कि सिर्फ अल्लाह को नाराज ना करें तो जैसे मिस परिया की एग्जांपल है दे वो अब फाइनेंशियल स्टेबल होके चली जाती है भाई लेकिन उनके पेरेंट्स नहीं है साथ में तो जब पेरेंट्स को नाराज कर दिया तो जब पेरेंट्स को नाराज किया तो अल्लाह तो खुद ही नाराज हो जाएंगे अच्छा ये तुम लोगों को किसने कहा यार कि पेरेंट्स को नाराज कर दिया तो अल्लाह ही नाराज हो जाएंगे किसने कहा पेरेंट्स को राजी रखना चाहिए नहीं राजी रखना चाहिए देखो कुरान के पाक को पढ़ो जब आप पुराने पाक पढ़ते हो ना उसमें अल्लाह ताला ने ना हर जगह पर वालदे को अलग कर दिया वालदे और रिश्तेदार आप सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के बारे में अल्लाह ताला ने कहा कि लोग आपसे पूछते हैं कि किस पे खर्च करो तो आप सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम आप उनको बताएं कि तुम अपने वालदे और रिश्तेदारों वालदे की जगह है बट मुझे कोई ऐसी डायरेक्ट हदीस से आयत नहीं मिली कि वालदे की नाराजगी अल्लाह की नाराजगी नहीं वालदेन कैन गो रॉन्ग आई हैव सीन सो अच्छा मैं भी इसमें बड़ी कन्फ्यूज थी मैं जब ये सोशल वर्क करती थी चलो यू आर ऑल ग्रोन अप्स आई टेल यू अ गर्ल केम टू मी हर फादर अब्यूज हर सेक्शुअली एंड हर मदर न्यू दैट एंड शी वॉज लेटिंग एवरी थिंग हैपन एंड सो मैनी थिंग्स लाइक दैट पेरेंट्स डू बैड टू देयर किड्स वालदे की नाराजगी अल्लाह की नाराजगी नहीं है अल्लाह की नाराजगी जिस चीज़ में है वो अल्लाह ने कुरान और हदीस में हर चीज़ बयान कर दी है अल्लाह की नाराजगी है सूद में अल्लाह की नाराजगी है धोखा देने में अल्लाह की नाराजगी है जना करने में अल्लाह की नाराजगी बहुत सारी और चीज़ों में वालदे की वो तो फिर आप अच्छा ये भी ना मैं बताऊँ ये सिर्फ पाकिस्तान में होता है तुम टर्की चले जाओ ईरान चले जाओ सऊदिया चले जाओ वहाँ पर नहीं कहते वालदे की नाराजगी यू गाइज आर इमोशनली ब्लैक मेल बायो पेरेंट्स <laughs> मेरे अम्मा बड़े सुन लिया थे बस <laughs> मेरी तो शामत है बट आई रियली नीड टू टेल यू दैट यू आर बीइंग ब्लैक मेल्ड इमोशनली ब्लैक मेल्ड बाय योर पेरेंट्स वालदे की नाराजगी अल्लाह की नाराजगी नहीं है अल्लाह की नाराजगी अल्लाह की नाराजगी है और वालदे की नाराजगी वालदे की नाराजगी है और वो अगर चली गई वालदे को नाराज करके और जब उसने नहीं नहीं तुम्हारे वालदे को जब तुमने नई सिविक भिजवा दी ना पाकिस्तान में वो तुम्हें फोन कर कहेंगे हाय मेरी बेटी मेरी जान देखो यू हैव टू टेक <laughs> देखो मैं बातें बड़ी सच्ची और एक्सपीरियंस के साथ करती हूँ उनको भेजो ना अपनी माँ को भेजो एक चार पांच तोले का सेट अब्बा को भेजो गाड़ी तुम देखो तुम तुम्हें कैसे सबके बारी जाते हो यानी वक्त बदल गया था आप एक्चुअली यू लेट पीपल ब्रीथ आई टोल्ड दैट बिफोर आप लोगों को जो करना है जिसने आपके पास अथॉरिटी है कुछ ऐसी भी अथॉरिटी आपके पास है जो अल्लाह ने आपको दी है लेकिन आप उसको भी यूज़ नहीं करते आप कहते हैं जिसने जो करना है वो करे एंड आई लाइक आई लर्न दैट फ्रॉम यू पहले मुझे बुरा लगता था कि फलाने ने ये किया फलाने ने वो किया फलाने ने वो किया आई डेंट लाइक दैट लेकिन आपकी ज़िंदगी को देख के मैंने देखा है कि सबको सब करने दो भाई अपनी ज़िंदगी में बस टेंशन फ्री रहो 